we'll guide you through what to do when your Xbox Series S or Series X controller won't stay on. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get into this. The first thing you will need to do is to replace the batteries inside of your Xbox controller. They're located in this compartment right here and you will need to open this compartment to be able to change them. As you can see, here they are. If you're using the ones that came with your console, that means that they are not re rechargeable and if they're low on their life, you will need to replace them. The second method is to turn it off and on to try and reset it. So to do that, you press and hold the Xbox button that is lighting up white and you hold it for about 5 to 10 seconds until it stops lighting up. Hold the Xbox button again to restart it. Check whether your controller works with a wired connection. This is the cable that comes with your Xbox in the package and you just connect the USB part to your console and the USB-C part in the, at the top of your controller. If it still keeps turning on and off and uh, keeps disconnecting, that might be an issue with your con controller and not the other two parts that we just mentioned. To fix this, you will need to either contact your uh, Xbox support or check your warranty because this might be a hardware problem with your controller and you might need to switch it out. If the previous method uh, works for you and your controller works perfectly with a wired connection, you might need to uh, check out if you have the latest firmware installed, connected using a cable and go into My Games and Apps right here, open that up. Scroll once down and open the app section, then scroll to the right and open up settings. When you get inside of settings, scroll down until you get into devices and connections. Then swipe to the right and open up the accessories option at the top. Now that you're inside of accessories, you scroll down once until you get on the three dots right here. And you select the first option right here. If you have the latest firmware, you will need you you won't need to update it. But if you don't, you will select this option right here, and you can update your controller. That might fix some of the issues that are going on with your controller. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.